it is an IO. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I'm being really weird, but I haven't posted in a while. Just because I don't have a reason, I just have one. But in today's video, as you probably read from the title, I'm going to be doing my hygiene routine. Basically, this is like how to smell good. Like, if you want to smell good, this is what you do. Because I sometimes I just want some people I know to smell good. So I'm making this video specifically for y'all. And for this, everyone who wants to know how to smell good, like, anyone can smell good really out the shower. But, like, it's an art, a craft to smell good, like, throughout the day. Like, 10, after, 10 hours after you shower, you're still smelling good. That's what I have perfected, I think, with my routine. So this is just what I do. Like, I'm just giving you what I do. But feel free to change products. Feel free to add in products. And make it your own to smell good throughout the day. I just want to share, like, what I do. Because I think, like, sharing hygiene tips is how we all, like, step out smelling good. Because sometimes I see people, they're, like, gorgeous. But you don't smell good. You do not. You smell, like, down. <laughs> Sorry, no. You just don't smell good. And I think, like, for me at least, how I smell comes before, like, how I look, what my outfit looks like, how my hair looks like, what my makeup looks like. I think, like, how I smell comes first. Like, I just think that. For me, at least. Some people may not believe that. Some people may not agree with that. But for me, like, before my outfit, before my hair, before my makeup, how I smell is, like, my priority. Like, when I step out in public, I could be looking busted, crusted, horrible. But at least I smell good. Like, when I walk past you, you're smelling me. That is my thing. I like to walk into a room and for people to be like, oh, who smells good? And I like that for me. So without further ado, without me ranting anymore about how I like to smell good, let us start the video. So first I want to talk about like oral hygiene because even though like this video is going to be, even though this video is going to be focused on like body care and everything like, but I still want to just include this because if you smell good but your breath smells bad you smell bad like like all the perfume in the world is not gonna cover up if your breath smells bad so this is what i do to keep my breath fresh fresh okay so first obviously like brushing your teeth is like um br like your actual teeth no, i'm not talking about your tongue i'm talking about your teeth sorry i got a thing brush your teeth you can use any toothbrush this is this is uh, uh, uh. This is the toothbrush I use. It's the Oral B one. I don't know the exact name of it, but this is just like the Oral B toothbrush. I like the ones with like the little circle head because it like brushes your teeth better. I don't know. Just like it's like a two minute timer on it, and you just brush your teeth. Let me try something. If you have teeth in your mouth that are like rotten, like you have the like cavities and stuff, it's gonna make your breath smell. So. Yeah, even though you like brush your teeth, if you have cavities, cavities make your breath smell. So brush your teeth so you don't get cavities and floss. Fuck say floss, but floss. I just use this one, it's the Crest 3D Y. But honestly, like any toothpaste works. Like any toothbrush and toothpaste works once you're brushing your teeth good. I'm just showing you what I use. Um, but yeah, these are what I use, but you can use anyone. I like this toothpaste though because it makes your teeth really white. Like I have really spaced out teeth, okay? Simple line. But I don't my teeth aren't the straightest, but they're white, so but yeah, I use these two together to like make sure my breath actually like smells good. Like my breath on a daily basis smells good. And, like my tongue isn't white. Um I use this. It's like a little tongue scraper thing. You can get one like anywhere. Get a tongue scraper and scrape your tongue, please. Thank you. Cause some people bro they smell it. And I'm like, yo, yo, don't talk to me. But get a tongue scraper. You can actually get into like body care. I'm not doing skincare, I'll do another video, I think. Like my skincare routine, ooh. But we'll do body care now. First, obviously, when we hop in the shower, I bathe in like hot water. Like when I take a shower, this my bathroom's like steamed up. Like you walk in my bathroom, you're in a sauna basically. Like my bathroom pot. If you don't like hot water, warm well, is fine. But I like I'm a hot water person. Just me personally. I'm a hot water person. I like showering hot water. I like to go in with like a soap that's like a base cleaner, if that makes sense. Like, it's not really for scent, it's not for moisture, just to like get myself clean. Um, this is the one that I use, the Dr. Bronner's Lavender Pure Castile Soap. This is so good. 
um also what i recommend is the dove bar soaps like the unscented like french Kiskin dove bar soaps work great too with a like cloth not a loofah do not use a loofah please loofahs are horrible like use exfoli you can also use like exfoliating gloves but i don't recommend loofahs loofahs no exfoliating gloves yeah like the little soft sponges are also fine like the little like natural ones like the sea sponges those are good too i just use those um but i just like this is my favorite these are from clean logic i literally am in love with these they exfoliate your body so nicely they make you feel so clean and then with the mix of like the dr bono soap this is a lavender scent i don't know i think i already said that but i love lavender like i love the way lavender smells so i use this but yeah any dr bronner's any like dove bar soaps also fine just something to like base clean before you go with your nice like scented wash you know then i go in with the dove deep moisture body wash this is this is like top tier body wash right here this is top tier especially if you have dry skin like me i have dry skin so this is great just go in with this and i also use this i just wash it off in the shower and use it again with this i go ahead and i wash my entire body with it and then i wash my body again i'm literally just extra two times it's fine like you will be clean i'm just extra so sorry but <laughs> i use this one it's the native baked by melissa tie-dye vanilla cupcake i love how this smells personally i love a good like baked cupcake vanilla scent i don't know i like to smell like the sugar cookie okay but <laughs> this is this one this smells so good i love it i feel like it's a very like either you love it or you hate it scent but i love it personally so i go in with this and this i recommend every body wash from like dove and olay they all smell so good and they work like amazing especially if you have dry skin as well moisturizing so yeah i don't do this every day and this is done but i just saved the bottle to show you in this video because i wanted to show you before i threw it away this is the like most basic product also this is the tree art tahitian vanilla bean sugar shea sugar scrub i love this stuff it's done i have to get a new one but i use this probably like twice a week ish like on special occasions type thing but i love doing it this scrub is so nice like when i use it my skin is so soft like my skin is so soft and i'm like thank you but this is so good like 10 out of 10 get a tree hub scrub they're so good if so then i like to wash my feet in the shower i take this foot brush i need to get a new one also like that's soap in there don't even worry and also that's like took the pumice stone so you can see like the reflection don't worry it's not gross i promise it's just like soap and the pumice stone but i go in with this and my dr bronner's soap and i put some on it i take this and i scrub my feet like I scrub my feet. I have a phobia of dirty feet. Like if I like after I shower, I need my feet to be like clean. Like I can't have dirty feet when I come out the shower. That that bothers me. <laughs> like that actually bothers me. So I have to like scrub my feet. Like I like my feet. I don't like other people's feet. My feet are nice because I clean them. But I don't like other people's feet. You know. I I don't I don't vibe with feet. I think you should keep your feet clean you know just basic hygiene on your feet is fine you don't have to do anything too much just like keeping it cleanish i go in with this this is like okay i'm not gonna recommend this because i know they recently changed the formula and they like put parabens and shit in it but i bought it so i'm gonna use it but i probably won't rebuy it after this is the honey pot sensitive foaming wash this is a feminine wash two and two together wash it down this area but i use this and i like it however they recently changed the formula because i had like the old formula and i had like four or five bottles of it loved it loved it but i changed the formula i'm still trying it but i know people said they gave them like ucis and stuff so i don't get a uci but we'll see but after this bottle i probably won't like repurchase it just because it's not all natural anymore not this the dove like unscented bar soap i also used to use the dove unscented baby soap the baby dove soap the unscented one 
basically for like in the shower hygiene i know that sounded like a lot but it takes like 50 minutes like it takes 50 minutes to do in the shower so when i come out the shower the first thing i like to do before i like dry my body like i like pat dry my body a little bit but i still have enough water on me so that i can seal that water in to like keep the moisture in my skin so i'm with a body oil um this one is the one i've been using recently this is the shea moisture virgin coconut oil daily hydration body oil this is how it looks i really really like this product it smells so good it's like a coconut scent like a like a it's like coconut but like a floral coconut scent if that makes sense i really really like this um so i just go ahead and put this on my entire body top to bottom back to front like i put this on my entire body it moisturizes my body and then like if it's like a day where i'm like going out or like i'm wearing shorts or like i don't know Mm. it's just a day i'm feeling to be a little glittery shimmery girl i use this this is just the johnson's shea and cocoa butter oil gel and i put like body glitter in it as you can tell it's like it's shimmery there's body glitter in there and like sparkly eyeshadow so yeah i put that in there really nice and shimmery and you put this on your body and it like makes your skin glisten like your skin literally glistens in the sun so after i do that i go in with the johnson's skin nourish vanilla oat lotion this is my favorite lotion ever 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 i love this lotion so much like i have bought so many bottles of this lotion i love it so much like i give it 11 out of 10 i love it it smells so good and it makes your skin so soft like i use it my skin is so soft and i'm like oh my god my skin is so soft so <laughs> i use this i love it i use this every day like every single day morning night i don't care i use this because i love this lotion so much the scent is on lot which is why i use another lotion i mix a lotion with it and then with this i mix i mix I mix this. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. If you're on TikTok, you've probably seen this product because it's all over. And it's hyped, but it's not overhyped. Like, I thought it would be overhyped. I used it. I used it one day, like early in the day, maybe like 9, 10 a.m. Didn't shower that night. So I went to bed, woke up the next morning, and I could smell this lotion on me, like strong. Like strong like if i put like perfume on i could smell the lotion on me like the next morning around like 11 ish because i woke up very fast up late i was like 11 ish and i could still smell this lotion it smells really good i don't know how to describe the scent but it's a very like gourmand like cookie like baked scent My i use the degree motion sense dry spray and sexy and trigons Ooh. But I use this. This is my favorite degree scent. It smells really good. Um, I used to use spray deodorant because I don't like how regular deodorant has like club leaves like the white cast below your armpits. I don't know. And I don't like gel because when you put it on, it's wet and you have to wait for it to like dry. So I just like the spray. The spray is easy. I am not a person who like perspirates heavily. Also, like I feel like I should mention that. I don't perspirate heavily. Um, so this doesn't this works for me, like works good. I don't have any smells like below my armpits. I don't know, I smell my armpit. It smells good to me. So I use this. Kind of like a person who heavily perspirates. Get the ordinary glycolic acid and the scent toning solution. This is what it looks like. Um, it has it's an AHA and basically what it like at night when I shower, instead of using deodorant, I will go ahead and put this on a corn round, put it with my armpits. It helps if you have hyperpigmentation below your armpits. And also helps if you like a, a person who like perspires a lot, but deodorizes it basically. So this is like better than deodorant. Like I know I know a lot of people on TikTok use like this instead of like deodorant on a daily basis. As well as let me tell you, if you have really sensitive skin, like I used to shave my legs and I like, get like bumps, like like no strawberry leg, but, like bumps, like actual like razor burn, I guess. And I would use this and it'll be gone like the next day and also under my armpits. I have really sensitive skin. Like when I shave, it irritates my skin horribly. Like I don't shave anymore. Um, 
but I I not. But <laughs> and used to like irritate my skin so bad. I still use this after like I wax, just cause it like helps like calm my skin down. But um. I love this so much. I love this. This is like my whole game. I have two. Okay, I have three, but I don't have the other one because I ran out. But I'll tell you what it is. It's the Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla. That is like chef's kisses. I love it. Like that is... Mm, I love that so much. But also, I love these two. These are from Bath & Body Works. This, this is the Fairy Tale by Bath & Body Works and the Into the Night. This one is like a controversial scent apparently people like it some people hate it i love it i think it smells so good and then fairy tale is just like oh mm, i use it my mom loves it like if i use this my mom's like oh you smell so good so i use these two and also the bear vanilla by victoria's secret recently ran out need to get a new bottle have not gone around to get a new bottle yet but that is like one of my favorite scents also i love victoria's secret bear vanilla oh that smells lost all this what does that i top up with perfume I swap up with perfume. I have two perfumes that I use like everyday type perfume. Um, but like these are like my go-to perfumes. That like if I'm if you are around me, I'm probably wearing one of these two. This one is the Jimmy Choo. I love Choo. I love Choo. I love Choo. Perfume so good. This smells so good. I would get so much compliments on this one. Smells so and I mix this really well with those two body mists. And then the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. I love the bottle. So cute. Um, These are like my two go-to perfumes. Both of them are more like sweet, warm, like gum on. Like, ooh, scent. Like, ooh, mature scent. But they smell so good. And like, I feel like both of them mix really well with my... I want to step into a room, I put the whole room to look at me and be like, oh, she smells good. That's my goal in life. Thank you. It's like, when I use the bathroom, like when I go poop, you know, when I go number two, poop, yeah. Use the flushable wipes and witch hazel. Like, this is my friend. But using, and don't just use toilet roll. Like, listen, listen. I feel like we're all too grown. We're all grown at this point. Like, Toilet is not gonna get all the poop out your butt, and that is the truth. Okay, these two together will keep you so fresh. These, right here. I mean, even if you don't struggle with them, like honestly, just use them. Like I, I'm lying. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I like these because they prevent anything from like smelling bad. Just like taking probiotics like daily is just essential as like a girl like take probiotics um if not like you don't want to take probiotics eat yogurt with probiotics if you really like, can't get your hands on some probiotics yogurt with probiotics i also take the golly or golly um apple cider vinegar vitamin gummies apple cider vinegar is also really good you know, clear brown skin area because it's like acidic it's gonna help like keep your ph balance and everything so I recommend. Um, I also recommend like eating all these like fruits, vegetables, stuff like that. Like basic stuff that like you know about like in primary school. Like you learn when you're 30. Like eat good, drink water, you smell good, you know? So that was basically it for my hygiene routine, my tips, my tricks to like stay smelling good all day, stay fresh, stay clean. Um because I think hygiene is important. If you want more videos, like more like, if you have like any specific requests, like if you want a hygiene routine specifically for like tips for like odor under your armpits, odor in your outfit, I don't know. <laughs> but if you want more like hygiene videos, let me know. Let me know. I like doing hygiene videos. I like talking about hygiene in general. I just know. I think it's fun. Um, I'm going to go because I'm just ranting at this point. But thanks for watching. Bye. You motherfuckers know what time it is. I don't even know why I'm on this track. Y'all niggas ain't even on my level. I'ma let my little homies ride on you, bitch made ass, bad boy, bitch.